Anne Hathaway tells us why she thought Les Mis would never make it to the big screen. Plus, Hugh Jackman reveals the one addiction he gave up for the film. Hey everyone, I'm Naja Hill with this Black Tree TV exclusive. Les Miserables has become one of the most anticipated films of the year, but if you ask one of its leading ladies, Anne Hathaway, you discover she's more surprised the classic story made it to the big screen at all. She told us what she thought about it. I didn't ever think that anything like this would happen. I mean, it, it, in my head, I thought what a great idea if somebody actually went in there and did a musical in a, in a, in a gritty, realistic, gr very grand way. Um, which is an odd thing because you don't think of, you know, something that's grandiose and gritty at the same time, but this is the sort of material that can take that. Um, but I, it was just one of those things where I just thought, oh, no, 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 it'll never happen. That's too, it's too risky. Um, it, could, it could be too provocative. Uh, so when it came up in my life and there was a part for me, it just, it, I couldn't quite believe that it was happening. So, like, it, it still feels very, um, very surprising and wonderful. Hathaway has previously revealed she lost 25 pounds to play the ailing prostitute Fontaine. Not to mention, she cropped off all that beautiful hair for the role. But if you thought she had second thoughts about doing so, think again. You know, I'm the sort of actor, I'm always looking, how can I, how can I raise the stakes? How can I transform myself? But it's not called for a lot of times. A lot of times you're told to just calm down, enjoy the ride, and, and be less intense. So to have something that actually required so much of you as an actor, it was a pleasure. Her handsome co-star Hugh Jackman found himself having to shed some serious weight for Les Mis. He also told us what addiction he gave up for the film and its demanding singing parts. To be honest, I love coffee. I was off coffee for the entire thing. Why? Coffee, caffeine dehydrates you. And when you're singing for 10 to 12 hours a day, you have to do everything to keep that moist and like a rainforest. Clearly that sacrifice paid off for Jackman, who has already received a SAG, Golden Globe, and Critics' Choice Award nomination for his performance as a man returning to the world after serving a 17-year sentence for stealing bread. My sister's child was close to death. We were starving. You'll we'll starve again unless you learn the meaning of the law. Know the meaning of those 19 years, the slave of the law. Jackman is no stranger to a little song and dance, given his start in theater, but even he seemed in awe of the live performances in this film. Les Mis is really uplifting, emotional kind of piece of material, and it's all sung through. So as an actor, we were just free to, like on any movie, go with the moment. It, if you did it the traditional way, you'd, you'd record it in a sound booth three months before you even met another actor. Uh, so, and then you have to match that, so it's like having handcuffs. So this way we can just, just keep it fresh and keep it real. Les Miserables hits theaters Christmas Day. I'm Naja Hill, see these arrows? Click them for our next or previous stories. Click here for our full interviews with the cast and be sure to subscribe to Black Tree TV for more of the entertainment news you wanna see. I'll live this time with you in hell and heaven and sea. Ah, and sea. Ah, Shango! Oh, Shango! I love when he does it. Shango!